Right, I thought I'd just talk to you about this for a second. I'm going to do a little bit of embroidery on it in a minute, on camera. It's nearly finished. Um, looking at it now, it's just come off the damp stretching board. I'm just walking around the camera here. And, oh, and I think it's just here. I think everything else is fine. So I'm going to stitch this stem with you, or partially stitch this stem with you on camera in a minute. There's a stem needs to go on here. And I need something on here, but I don't want anything dead predictable on there. And by that I mean I don't want a like a line of something. So I may do a bit more scattering. There's a bit of scattering of things going on up there. I might scatter a bit down here. And then it'll be finished. And I'm having a debate with myself over what to do with it in terms of... I'm quite tempted to turn it into a, a little bag. Like by folding it. Um, to use. But... I'm not 100% convinced. Part of me wants to keep it as a to back it and play with the edges, titivate the edges with beads or something, and keep it as a flat piece. My only dilemma with that is I've got so many pieces. Um, I don't want it to. I don't know where to put it, and I don't want to put it somewhere where I can't see it every day. But I've got so many things already that I can see every day. Um, so I'm having that debate with myself. If you've got any thoughts, let me know. Um, so I just thought I'd let you see it in its entirety and explain to you a little bit about there's only really this bit needs to be finished. But then obviously backing it and doing the edges will take quite some time as well. So it's a long way from being completely finished. It's just this front surface that's almost finished. So I'll turn off now and change the camera around and I'll come back and do a little bit of that stem with you, okay. Right, now I need to put it in a hoop to... Uh, I'm just scanning the table for my needles, it's alright, they're over there. So I wanted to show you it damp stretched in that first bit, because once it goes in a hoop, it's death to no creases. It'll be crease like mad. So I'll do this one here. Um, that's actually tightened quite well. Right, so hopefully you can see that little circle. It's got five bullion loops with sequins on and then it's got a row of chain stitch and it's got a partial row of chain stitch and it's got a web stitch and it's got a little just cluster there of different sequins now get my scissors get my needles i'm going to do this stem lemon and also i'm going to put little sequins on it as well so i've got some here on a little piece of felt that'll be at the right hand side of me that you might lose sight of while i'm working on this um, so just let me get some thread. I'm not going to say too much about the stitch I'm doing because it's one I've just taught myself in embroidery. It's not a secret stitch, I'm sure you could look it up, but um, I went through the process in an explanatory way in embroidery school and I've become addicted to it. Now you might see on there there's a a row of running stitch. You can probably see that and got them on thread. That's to guide me for my line for this. Now let me just check. I'm not actually comfortable with that. It's just, just to say, don't worry about it. if you've got cloth like this and you're putting it in a hoop. Really don't worry about damaging anything. If your hoop's not too tight, you're not going to break a sequin or snap anything off. Um, and the creasing, just damp stretching is miraculous, it gets rid of anything, trust me. So there's going to be sequins that are here, maybe see even a little bit. So, and I won't do the whole scene, I'll just do a little bit because... Oh, what's happened there? Look at that. What are the chances of that? See, and if you do one of my classes, Things like that, I leave them in. I don't edit my videos. If there's a mistake or something happens, I leave it in because if it's happened to me, it's likely to happen to you. And that is size 16 cotton broader and it's one stranded thread. So that shouldn't happen. Um, so it's obviously a fault in the thread. 
So, nothing lost. I'm not halfway through the row, so disregard that and get a new piece of thread. Why that would happen, I've no idea. The only explanation, like I say, is it's a fault in the thread. So let's try again. That seems to be okay. But yeah, I don't sanitise my videos because like I say, if something happens to me like that, it's likely to happen to you. And it's good that we all learn together. So I'm picking up a sequin now. I like little flowery sequins. I do like sequins, I've developed a passion for them. Pick up another one now. Sometimes the centres aren't properly out of sequins. I don't know if you use sequins a lot, but sometimes the centres aren't properly out of them. And you have to kind of punch it through with your needle. And I'm not sure how much good that does your needle, to be honest. Um, I'm going to have three days off now. I'm not going to be back till Saturday. I've got a hectic week. I've got hectic things happening. I've got hectic things happening until next Monday, but I should get a couple of hour window on Saturday to be able to do a post. I know you won't miss me anyway. You'll be glad to see the back of me. Oops. I've got to be careful of that at all. So that's why I'm making you a video, so you don't forget who I am. So can you see how this is coming together now? That'll be trimmed, that there, but it'll be left. I like that. You could actually leave that really long and put a bead on the end if you wanted to. Right, another sequin. And then I'll take this gutterman out afterwards. When you're uh, working on a piece of cloth that's got a lot of beating on, I'm sure some of you know, maybe all of you know, when you're working on a cloth that's got a lot of sequins and beads on the surface, your thread does have a tendency to catch on those, so you've got to be careful for that. And something else, a bit of advice, don't ever, I always say this in my classes, don't ever make a pin pillow with buttons on it, sorry, with beads on it, because you never know if you're picking up a bead or a pin cushion, I get so much, or a pin, I get myself in so much trouble doing that. Right, I love these pink ones. These sequins, oh, that just fell off. Let me just show you the sequin. So, uh, actually, this one, it's pink on both sides, but some of them, the underside is a different colour. So sometimes you have to pay attention to which way you're putting it on your needle, but that one was okay, it was uh, on a bit of a free plug now for Steph Francis. I'm not on commission, trust me, I wish I was. These are from Steph Francis. They're lovely. They're uh, S34 if you want to get some. Don't buy them all, because I might want to get some more. But I'm not on commission, I assure you. I've dropped some of them. I spend my life dropping beads and sequins. There's another one there as well, a silver one. This is my life, welcome to my life. My floor sparkles. Oh, and there's another one, I didn't realise how many I've dropped. So I'll just do one more and then I'll turn off because I'm sure you've got better things to do than listen to me. Um, it's like that one. That one to me is like silver on the top but on the other side it's pink so be careful which way you put it on your needle depending I want the oh, I want the pink to be visible so what have I done that for so put silver side down and then hopefully 
Hopefully the pink will be visible. Oh, do you know what? It's not the easiest thing to do, fiddle with sequins and things when you're uh, when you've got hands like a string of chipolata sausages. Right, and again it's gonna catch round there, so be careful. That there is a sequin centre. There, like that. And then secure that. And like I said, when I've done all the way around, that will be pulled out. That and I'll pull it out from the back. Um so there, so I'll see you again on Saturday. Um there's nothing I can do about that. And like I said, you probably don't you probably don't care. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that.